Hello and welcome. As part of my wireless energy project, I want to bring an additional component, an additional configuration to the subject. And what I want to add is a new type of configuration for amplification of the energy provided in a different way as, been, as has been provided before. I'm going to introduce the spiral coil and if we, if we look at the original um, uh, patent from Nikola Tesla, he used a spiral coil and he used a solenoid, yes. However, the way I'm going to do it and connect it and work on it will be different. What I wanted to demonstrate as well is that the spiral coil has a specific uh, property. Most of you will know what a spiral coil does. However, here in my combination I create a very strong vortex field and this vortex field will be focused with the support of a solenoid in a different kind of configuration which I would like to demonstrate to you in a minute. I have now the spiral coil energized with very very low power. It's um, below um, 2 watt and what I want to show here is here on the bulb I have here it's a it's a clean bulb which, which creates a plasma inside how the plasma behaves when you look inside this coil. The coil here as you can see here is creating in this combination a vortex field here you can see it better. So this vortex field is radiating out north to south. That means it goes up and it goes down. So if we connect this here in our traditional way to our wireless network system, it would radiate in the earth and radiate it on top to our transmitting sphere. You can see that here quite nicely. And here if you see here on top, you would see then the focus in the middle. Let's see it again here. Let me move around here on that. Here you can see it quite nicely. And here is, is quite strong. But that, that should be easy to be seen. So what I'm going to demonstrate now is in a way we have then as a that is an example only. It's not the way it's going to be configured. But uh, as you can see here, if I lift it up to this high, there is no reaction at all anymore. That means the field is too weak to illuminate the light bulb. Now I go step by step now away from it. However, I'm using capacitive fields to align then again this vortex field to provide the energy. When we now just put this, uh, you can see here, just only this uh, solenoid on top, it's radiating out and it's providing that field or the strength we require and all of a sudden we have this energy again. Yes, there is inductance in here, however, as you can see, um, it is technically a capacitance or it, it is a kind of a mutual inductance but mainly um, a great part of it is also capacitance. So if we gonna do it further as you can see here if I go out here to that level or if I increase it higher um, if I turn it around like that if I go away there is nothing anymore. Now if I extended it even further, what do you think is going to happen? So now let's have a look at that. So if I energize now the coil, you see I have now put it on top. I have here the solenoid and have on top another solenoid with two capacitance if you want. And here I have tuned it slightly higher as original spiral coil. And that means here I'm using an additional inductance, not inductance, capacitance, sorry, which is then aligning the frequency 
on the solenoid, which is the transmission light, and it allows it to illuminate the uh, load on top, as you can see. So in this comp that would be an example of a combination um, which I will work with, but this is only a capacitance here which provides a voltage potential which is much higher than what is currently available on the spiral coil. However, the spiral coil will feed back this energy down to the trans receiving side and converts it back into energy we're gonna harness and that will be then in detail described and analyzed for my members on my website. Thank you.